Hi, I'm Dr. Hannah, and today I'm going to talk about the Medtronic 780G. This is a newer insulin pump on the market that has a really strong algorithm. And what I mean by that is that it's quite effective in its ability to correct high blood sugars and quite aggressively stops insulin from a basal perspective in order to prevent low blood sugars. And I'm going to talk just briefly about some of the pros and cons, some of the features that it has, so that if you're considering different technologies, and you're learning more about it, these tips can um, help you kind of collect your data points. So the 780G is, is quite interesting. It uses a very specific continuous glucose monitor that is also made by Medtronic. It's called the Guardian 4. And here you can see this is the, the Guardian, which is the continuous glucose monitor. You can see for reference compared to my fingers, it's quite small, a little bit bigger than some of the others, and you can kind of see the depth of it here. It doesn't stick out, it's certainly a lot thinner than an Omnipod if you're familiar with what that looks like. And then this is the inset. Pretty classic inset, looks uh, very similar to the ones used for other insulin pumps on the market. So this is kind of what we're looking at here. The thing about the 780G that I like is that it can give a correction. So if your blood sugar is higher than the target blood sugar that you set into the pump, it can give a correction up to every five minutes, which is quite aggressive and more aggressive than some of the other algorithms in the pumps on the market so that it can bring your blood sugar down faster is the intent and we see that suggested in the data the other thing that's that's notable about this is that you can set a target blood glucose number as low as 100 now it gives you other options too you can set it at 110 um, and that's recommended for people under the age of 15 and you can even set it up to 130 which might be great as an alternative if you're exercising going on a hike doing something where you wouldn't want your blood glucose to be running lower or you know that you're insulin sensitivity may be increasing and so you want to help prevent lows that might be a time where it would make sense so those are some tips about the Medtronic 780g I have heard good things about it from people wearing it I do think that the data on blood glucose management is quite wonderful when we look at groups of people who were using different technology or no technology before and starting this pump the outcomes do seem to improve the hemoglobin a1c levels do seem to lower and ease of use is a really big piece it has a feature called meal detection technology which essentially means that if the glucose monitor there that you're wearing connected to it notices your blood sugar spiking quite quickly it will assume that you ate a meal and give you kind of an additional bolus or correction for it and that's interesting i certainly think that diabetes technology is a personal choice i do believe it's helpful to be empowered by knowledge knowledge of what your insurance might cover what might be available to you what is available out there on the market and then what you and your physician feel comfortable with together as far as what's going to be the right fit from a safety perspective, from a management perspective, from a quality of life perspective, which is so important, this option seems to be a good choice. I would certainly try the Medtronic 780G if it were covered under my insurance, just to see how it felt, just to see kind of how I responded to those extra corrections. If I notice a difference with that every five minute basal rate, uh, the data is there again, and, and I think it's a great option for people. It's nice to see that we've got a variety of algorithms on the market, and I like to see this one as it's more aggressive in correcting highs and preventing lows from the standpoint of increasing and decreasing insulin quite quickly. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please link them below. Remember that this is not personal medical advice, that I am here from a general education standpoint only. If you like this video, please subscribe. It means a whole lot to me and it helps me to continue creating videos like this for you and other people with type 1 diabetes. Thanks so much for sticking to the end.